Hello, Tazai 3, and welcome back to Mistake. In the last video, we. What did we do? I think we died. A lot. God, we died a lot. So much. Oh, right, uh, did puzzles too. That was also a thing. So there was a dying, there was a puzzle, there's more dying. Uh, serial killer ghost. Talking toys. Sheep lady. I think that I think that does it. Yeah. Anyways, before I get on with the rest, um, quick disclaimer. My mic is going out. I'm sure you can hear the crackles. I don't know if it's crackling right now. I'll be getting one as soon as I can. The rest of this video was filmed with that mic, so there might be a little bit of crackling. And I am extremely exhausted when recording. This is basically at hour three of the recording. Because if you watched part one, you know I had to cut out a lot. Anyways, without further ado, shall we? Oh, here it is. Um, uh, cool. Oh, you're nice to them, but not me. After the bunnies have played enough, you bring them back to Nini. And you need to leave. Oops. Ah oh, yes, much better. Finally, some peace and quiet. Splendid. So do you consider me your friend now? Hmm, I don't know. Ah, uh, what else do you want, woman? I have a friend already. Her name is Rika and she lives in the closet. She's been avoiding me. Feels like she wants to tell me something, but she just won't say it. I'm just too worried. If only I had a potential friend who could talk to her. Um, fine, but after this is resolved, you better see me as a friend. Sure, whatever you say. How you doing, my guy? Go on. Oh my god, bunny, move. Greetings, I'm looking for a certain person by the name of Rika. I am here on behalf of your friend Nini. She appears to be worried. N Nini sent you? Yes, she tells me that you're avoiding her. Why is that? I was under the impression that friends don't do that. You're right. I know that, but... I get so nervous around her lately. Why? She seems rather homeless and... Aw, someone has a crush. What? No, I'm not scared of Nini. I just can't concentrate whenever she's near. Keep thinking about how pretty she is and talented and cute. Just wanna... I mean, nothing. I don't have a weird thoughts about her. Oh, I understand this feeling. Y you do? What did you do about it? <laughs> I kidnapped them. What? That can't have worked out for you, can it? No, I was locked up for five years and put under a restraining order. We're not kidnapping Nini. I just want to have a cute romance with her, among other things. Oh! Hey, hey! I can help with that. Have you tried telling her? Maybe she reciprocates your feelings. You think Nini has feelings for me too? Will you leave this closet and properly communicate with her if, it, if I affirm her? I, it's funny how she's in a closet, you know, she has to come out of the closet. T -t talk to her? I can't do that. What if she turns me down after all? Then I'll just tell her. No, that's not good either. Uh, I know. I'll put my feelings into a letter. But there's a problem. I don't have any paper or pen or ink. Hmm. Sorry, I know you can probably ask the story tree for paper. As for pen and ink, maybe I could write with my blood? Let me see if I can find you a pen and ink before you choose such drastic measures. Okay, thank you, bye. Alright. Let's ask this tree, because we have the ink already. Oi! I kissed him. Oi. Uh, you know, I don't actually even need to move him. I could just...
Okay. Hello, signs of Cosmos. You seem troubled. Are you in need of my help? Hello, I have been told that you are in possession of paper. I am in need of paper. I am in possession of many pages, written as well as devoid of ink. However, if you wish to have one of my pages, I ask you to bring me a story I have yet to know. A story imprinted in the shades of night on the repurposed remains of my brethren. So a book. You're speaking of a book. Yes. Indeed, you must excuse my urges to emphasize on the cruelty of my existence. My utmost apologies if this should be the slightest inconvenience to you. I digress. There is a library in this realm with many stories that I have already witnessed. However, the masters of this realm often increase this collection. Unfortunately, my usual little helper has not been around in a while. She is rather lazy, that bunny woman. So bring me a book. I have not collected and I will grant you one of my pages. If you fail to bring me the right one, I may just collect your story instead. Okay. There's gonna be a lot of trial and error now. Bunny lady is not lazy also, you dumb tree. This guy is the story. Okay. So it's not that one. Lazy helper. Could that be referring to you? Huh? Are you calling me lazy? That's not very nice. Those are not my words. There's a, There's a certain tree who sends, out, sends me out to collect a book. Ah, yes. He likes to do that to people. That's why I stopped going there. It's not nice to use other people to run errands for you, you know? You don't say. Lady, you know what you're doing? Do you know of any books that were added to the library recently? Um, yeah. There was a new book. What was... What was it again? Surely you must remember some details about it. Hmm, it was a warm cover, not too thick. And the title was long. I think it sounded kind of dumb. It's all I can remember, sorry. Okay. It's how top 10 secrets bio weapon grill baits puts in your cereal. Wake up sheep pile. Choose this book? Not yet. That is a warm color though. And it's a long title. Not this one. The CEO's Omega can't control th his heat. Ah, what a classic. Oh. They released a sequel. How delightful. I don't remember hearing about any such plans. Must have happened during my time in confinement. Oh, that is a very warm color. Um, yes. I'll try this one. Orange is also a warm color, but not as... Oh. Perhaps I've chosen correctly. If that's the case, then I should return this book. Alright, I'll try the romance one. Also, it feels like romance would be the answer. In a romance game. Oh. Not romance, but you know, sort of romance. It talks about romance. All right, romance book. Oh, I do not recognize this book. Please place it under my roots. Give me my, hey, what about my paper? This story is certainly no. Ah, uh, wow, some crude literature, even if you can call it such. Is this what the youth consumes these days? Excuse me, this is fine literature. You must lack like taste. Damn. See your paper, just don't tell me what you're planning to use it. Okay, so we have ink. Uh, maybe we can use the scissors. Let me talk to her. Oh, maybe I can get a plume. Hello there, young one. This realm must be very... I do have a question. Could one of your feathers function as a writing tool? Well, I suppose so. Why do you ask? Hmm. If you must know... I understand. So you wish to have one of my feathers for this purpose? Correct. So what will you have me do? What will I have you do? Why nothing at all? Have you ever considered just asking for it nicely? What do you mean? Explain. Are the words please and thank you not part of your retroire? 
repertoire? Ah, I understand. Give me one of your feathers, please. That's funny. Alright, since this is name of love, I shall give you one. But please try to work on your etiquette. Yeah. With a face like that, it just screams etiquette. I got your shit. Sheet of paper. Do we talk? Do, do you have everything? Will this suffice? Uh, paper, a feather, and some kind of mush? What is that? I went through a lot of trouble for this. And you are complaining. Sorry, I guess it would do. Give me a second. Uh, I got... We got the... We got ghosts from Harry Potter and... Killers. Don't tell me that I also need to deliver this letter to the bunny person for you. Do you have a spine, woman? Her, her name is Nini and, and uh, yes. Well, wait. This, this is a bad idea. Hmm. Fine, I'll deliver it. I can see that this will not go anywhere otherwise. Okay, but don't you dare look inside. I'll curse you. Ah. Oh, she's lucky I don't have an inventory. Oh, sh She's lucky I don't have a direct inventory to just look at. Oh my god. I mean, just... It's gonna be more trouble if I don't move him away. Okay. Let me know if you make progress with Rika. Oh, all right. Letter. Huh? Is that for me? Huh? This is from Rika? Oh! Excuse me, I have somewhere to be right now. She going to Rika. Oh! Look at it! We did it! Um, um, so that's how I feel. Oh, Rika. You should have told me sooner, silly. I didn't know how you'd react. But now I just couldn't stand being by your side. It's only your friend. B because I love you so much. God, Rika, you are too cute. I love you too, dumbass. You didn't need to avoid me like that. But I love you in a non- But I love you in a non-friend way. I know. Your letter was very graphic. Let's go make babies- Whoa! <laughs> Let's go make babies in your closet. Oh my gosh, I can't believe this happened. Yes, thousand times yes, let's go. Yes, baby. Oh, that's sweet, but uh... That's that's sweet, but uh... Is anyone gonna tell them that uh... Two women can't make babies? Uh, what? <laughs> We're kinda busy, dude. Come back in a few hours or so. Right. But are we friends now? Oh, right, sure, whatever. See you, uh, friend. Excellent. Now it's time to leave this place behind. Thank you, Lola. Oh, can I say thank you? I may require more help. Okay. Whatever. Um. Wow. Damn. They're gonna. I'm sure they'll be happy, but be sorely mistaken. There'll be no R Rika X meaning babies. Oh yeah, twins. Oh fuck. <laughs> oh shit. Claire! Claire! Let me leave! We meet again. Surely you have adjusted your view of me now. I... Uh, yeah, about that. No... What? Why not? Don't get me wrong and all. Like, I like... I appreciate you helping Nini and Rika. But you were kind of an ass to everyone else. Also, like, doing something nice for your own game? doesn't make you a good person. Does not? Then what would? Uh, like, actually being a good person? Sorry. But I feel like you're kind of a lost cause at this point. Like, after everything Lola did for you, you didn't even consider saying thank you to her, like saying goodbye. I literally just was trying to do that. Not gonna lie, kinda yikes. Why would I thank her? I did all the work. Uh, yeah, but you would totally been lost without her, like... What would you have done? Uh, I suppose you have a point. So if I go say my regards, will you let me go? I don't know, are you gonna keep bothering me if I don't? Yes. Very well then, not like I want to keep you around anyway. Excellent, I will be back. 
Alright, this is where they put in the unneeded chase sequence. Watch. Get the bunnies out of my way. Nope, don't need the bunnies. Lola, oh. Come on! Hmm. I was not aware she could move. But where would the dog go? Lola. Oh no, Lola. Do you like the gift I left for you? This was your doing? She is. Isn't she pretty? Things only reach their prime beauty once they've been broken. Wouldn't you agree? That was a fat. That vastly depends on the circum circumstances. I didn't know. I didn't have to break her, you know. It's all your fault. After all, you were trying to escape, weren't you? Obviously. Who would want to stay here? Oh, John, my cute little John. I'm so honest to the very end. How admirable, admirable even. But I can't have you go. When there is so much more fun to have. And if you insist on leaving, then I guess I just have to cut off your little limbs. Run, 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 run. Oh, cool. Here it is. Run! Yeah, how's it feel, John? You were terrifying when you were chasing me. Ah, oh, come on. You didn't have to... Ah, oh, there we go. Bunnies, bunnies, don't. Big bird, help! Big bird, no! Claire! Help, Claire! Claire! Oh, jeez, that was horrifying. Tra traffic? That's right, I was on my way home and then... Don't they cut your hair in prison? Miss Chick. Oh, so John still dies? Anyways, uh, credits right there, guys. I like that. I like the. You can definitely tell they've improved from the last one. They went for a more shorter, chibi ish looking style with the pixel models. And the art itself got better. Like, it wasn't. It's not that it wasn't good before, but it had more uh, expression this time. They were like stiff dolls last time. The puzzles, in my opinion, got did get better. Ending two out of three. What do you mean? Is one of them I just let him get me? Got you. Phew. I never thought this would be so much work. You really should appreciate the things I do for you more, don't you think? Alright, how silly of me. You can't answer me anymore after all. Oh, but you look absolutely stunning, my dear. Must be pretty stuffy in there. You're enduring for me, right? Because I'm planning on keeping you like this for a bit longer. What the hell? Alright, so I'm beginning the other end, the last ending while I'm talking. But yeah, obviously they've improved a whole lot. The, uh, roughly the same length of games. I didn't think they'd add a supernatural aspect, but if they make, like, a third game in this, uh, with these characters, maybe I can keep John alive and truly give him a redemption arc. He did try to get out. He doesn't understand how to be nice, though. Maybe uh, maybe an issue, maybe bring in a storyline where him and Rylan get stuck together. If you wish to witness the final conclusion, you must return to a quite earlier point in your journey. What? Alright, I'll be right back, guys. Alright, no answer. Alright, guys. I am at the point where I just gave them the letter. They're trying to make babies. Uh, uh, oh. 
Who wants to be mommy's good boy tonight? Oh, shit. I still can't say thank you to Lola. Oh. Okay, so... The whole time I was... Because I checked out a guy and whatnot. And uh, the whole time I was looking for... Blah, 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 blah. That's not what I'm trying to say. I was looking at a guide, and what they did, they continued from this point right after they gave the letter. And the entire time, this door was hanging out back here. I never even touched it. I wanted to befriend everyone to make sure everything would work out, because that's what it seemed like I needed. So without further ado, let's see what the door looks like. Oh no, I just go right through it, okay. So, you finally made it here, huh? What is this place? It's the only way out of this realm. Uh, you're lying. I'm lying, John. You hurt me. I haven't lied to you once. Surely you realize this by now. Well, if you wish to relive your death once more, you feel, to, you feel free to jump into Claire's mouth, of course. So this has all been a setup from the very beginning. A setup? Who knows? I don't even fully understand this place, you know? I woke up here one day. Then how do you know this way leads out? I don't, but I also don't know anywhere else it could lead. How does he know Claire's leads to death? And where is this and where is this out? Not the real world, I assume. Hell, reincarnation, the big void. Whichever religious beliefs tickle your fancy. You'll be proven wrong or right the moment you step out, I guess. As for you to discover now. I don't understand. You're letting me go. Sounds to me like you understand quite well. This doesn't make any sense. Did you not want to spend an eternity here with me? Oh, Johnny, baby. I've spent an eternity here together. Eternity just gets boring after a while. Watching you die over and over and over, while clinging on to the hope that you're still alive just to have it crushed in front of your very eyes. Oh, did I have to get all the deaths? Was that a secret requirement? Oh, it should have been so beautiful. But it wasn't. I watched you die over and over again, and it was so exciting at first. I was anticipating the moment you would break so much, but it just didn't come. I've tortured countless of people they would break after just a few hours, but you? Honestly, what the hell is wrong with you? How can you just keep walking like nothing happened every single time? I think it's about time I look for a new victim, so go on. Cry tears of joy. You're released. Leave. Are you not obsessed with me? How can you let me go? You said I'll get it. I was never obsessed with you. I was obsessed with the idea of breaking you. I'm not actually attracted to people. I derive pleasure from their absolute despair. And you, a stoic narcissist who thinks the world belongs to you, how much I wanted to see this arrogant expression fade into absolute terror. But no, you just had to blue ball me like that. I don't understand. Ah, oh, fine. You don't need to, okay? Just leave. Once I leave, you will look for a new victim. Of course. I wouldn't want to get lonely in here. Don't tell me you suddenly developed some kind of empathy. No. Yeah, that's what I thought. Now stop worrying your little head about all this and just pass on. Okay. No. Huh? What do you mean, no? I cannot accept this outcome. I will not stand to let you fool around with other men. You're supposed to have eyes for me and me alone. Uh, what? I, are you jealous for real? You actually like me after everything I've done to you? You have the audacity to claim to be obsessed with me and then try to get rid of me. Now I must have you. I'm actually speechless. I'll keep torturing you if you stay here, you know? If you refuse to leave, I'll keep on killing you again and again. Who knows? Maybe you'll eventually break after all. I doubt it. 
I've somewhat come to enjoy the feeling. What? Ew. Excuse me. I don't think you have a right to kink shame me. So you're actually not gonna leave. It's gonna be pointless. I've lost all interest in iPad and you. You're wasting your time. I'm not worried. You have all eternity to come around. God, I regret bringing you here. Okay. Oh, look, this cute little art. Uh, true ending, guys. I take back what I said about seeing John in another game. Just have him chilling here for eternity. It's probably the best outcome, honestly. He couldn't change as a person. He couldn't understand how to change fully. He developed a weird, narcissistic behavior where he need, he not only wants everyone to himself, he needs everyone to want him also. It seems like. See this? Mr. Crazy Pants just isn't into him. So, in a sense, he's found his peace, causing eternal torture for someone else. And it's probably the best best thing, because what, what was he going to do when he returned? His family disowned him, so he didn't have the money he had before. And the game just closed on me. Alright guys, that was Miss Trick. Not Mistake, like I accidentally called that at the end of the other video. But yes, Miss Trick. A game following the protagonist from Miss Fiction on his own little journey after dying. So soon after prison, such a shame. John did not redeem himself. He did not become a better person, much less he found where he belongs. And that's bothering a serial killer? Then that's fine by me. I really hope to see another game in this series. Maybe following Ryland? Maybe Eugene? Who knows? But either way, thank you so much for watching. I have been Ree, and this has been Miss Trick. Buh bye bye <laughs>